Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a question that I get asked all the time at this time of year on social media. It's now the beginning of August and these plants are in full swing and providing loads of nectar and pollen for so many of our invertebrates. Of course, of which there are many, many species out at the moment. July or sort of July into August, a really good time of year to get out there and see a lot of butterflies, bees, moths dragonflies absolutely thousands of insects in the air at the moment so a really good time of year for that but of course the best way you can help them out is by providing either a larval food plant or a nectar source for them and this cracking specimen behind me here is a spear thistle which is an absolute beauty of a plant i mean they really are such fabulous little purple flowers very similar if you like to uh, the common knapweed or lesser and black knapweed that you get in uh, a traditional wildflower meadow and they're really really good because they provide so much nectar uh, on a single plant I mean this is one plant behind me here you can see I've knelt down I'm not I'm not stood up this isn't seven foot tall but they can get quite big I mean this is probably about four foot tall now and uh, a lot of people would see these as a bit of a pernicious weed something that you might want to pull out in a garden uh, and the same with creeping thistle and i know they can be a bit of a problem on agricultural land of course where they get regular disturbance and the seed is obviously uh, very well spread by by wind so um, they can cause a bit of a problem and create quite big clumps actually but uh, i love the spear thistles because they tend to create more of an individual clump and uh, as i say this one is just absolutely alive with insects at the moment there's four or five species of bee on it there's hoverflies using it there's a small skipper on it as we speak it's also had uh, small copper meadow brown and ringlet uh, just in the last half an hour while i've been uh, working away creating you can see the digger there creating my latest wildflower meadow here in Surrey. So um, yeah, a really good plant, one that I'm going to obviously work around. Uh, the area behind this plant, I'm actually stripping off to make a new wildflower meadow, but I'm gonna leave this one in here because uh, yeah, it's just an absolutely vital source of nectar at this time of year. Now, one thing people ask me is, what do I do with thistles? I've got them in my garden. I know they're good for wildlife, but I don't want them to spread. And as I say, the creeping thistle, as the name suggests, can be a bit more uh, of a pig compared to the uh, spear thistles of which this is, is. And uh, to, to combat that, I mean, the creeping thistle will spread by its roots, hence the name. Um, but you can, of course, remove, just cut the heads off once they're finished flowering. So, for example, you know, if you get one like this, ouch, <laughs> actually, got a little bee on there at the moment, which is nice to see. So you can actually remove the heads before uh, these turn into the full seeds and of course then start dispersing um, in which they will uh, they will disperse a fair way so uh, once they've finished flowering you can as I say just cut them off and that's it you won't get any more problems from any more seeds blowing around your garden I know this can be a bit of a pain but if you've only got one or two plants hopefully it's not too much of a chore for you and that way you get the best of both worlds you get to help the invertebrates by providing the nectar and the pollen but also you get to uh, stop the spread of them if you don't want too many in the garden. So yes, I hope that's answered the question, but I really would stress how important thistles are in terms of uh, a food source and not only nectar and pollen, but in the autumn time as well, if you can let them go to seed, they are a really, really good source of seed for birds, particularly goldfinches uh, through the autumn and the winter months. So don't cut them down, leave them stood up right. I think they're quite structurally fantastic and very architectural so um, if there's somewhere where you're not going to get slashed to death when you're walking past them then uh, do see the bees all around me trying to get on this thing um do just leave them they are fantastic at providing uh, a lot of nectar and food for so many insects and birds as i say so um yes thistles in general please don't just chop them out your garden leave some in you'll be amazed at how many insects uh, nectar on them i mean they really are particularly creeping thistle as well um i must have counted 10 15 species of butterfly that actually use them as a uh, nectar source so and of course countless moths as well during the night which you won't see but trust me they're doing their bit so um yes thistles give them a break would you Thanks for watching guys. Really, really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for everybody who comments and likes the videos, of course, and feel free to give the video a like if you have enjoyed it. And I'll be bringing you many more updates on all the ways you can help wildlife in your own garden in videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.